Hello, and welcome to another Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in the last Code in 5 Minutes, we were working on a therapeutic app that allowed us to change the number of likes that we have on a tweet. <laughs> it was a therapy app, <laughs> in a sense. So let's go take a look and see what that looked like. And we had kind of thought that this therapy app, um, right here it is, it's called Tweet Doctor. So it's a therapy, but it also allows you to doctor the tweet. So we take that number, stick it there, and we can increase the number of likes. And that's where we got to when in Tweet 1, uh, or in Twitter 1, Twitter. Uh, this can be found, by the way, at zimjs.com slash 5, F-I-V-E, and then slash Twitter uh, would have been the last one. This one will be slash twitter2.html. And what we've done is we just modified that a little bit by uh, making it so that we could change the number of retweets as well as change, uh, what's this one, the number of conversations, such as 7 Seven, seven. Uh, nice, huh? And see how cool that is? But what would be even cooler is if the end user could upload their own picture of a tweet, a screenshot, and then um, do the doctoring, the tweet doctoring, <laughs> and then crop it. So then say, I want to save only this part that you know makes sense to save, uh, so that they could then share that <laughs> the tweet doctor. We're doctoring the tweet, but also gaining therapy. I love it. So let's see if we can make that in five minutes with Zim. We'll go to the code now. We did do a bit of modification of the code to bring in a series, a tiled series of a stepper and a label. So it went stepper, label, stepper, label, stepper, label, stepper, label, six times there, six rows. And then we applied some events to those parts and let each label be draggable and called a common function whenever uh, one of those steppers is adjusted. We called it the tweet doctor. So we'll be in here adding a cropper. We'll see if we can add a cropper. And up top, we don't want to load the picture in um, with the assets here. This was loading in the picture with the assets. We'll want to load the picture in with a loader. So we won't be doing that. Instead, we will use a loader. So let's see if we can load a picture, allow the user to crop it, and save it uh, to their desktop uh, in five minutes. Here we go in Zim. We'll start the counter. Woohoo! And we will say const loader is equal to a new loader. We'll center that on the stage. And that gives us a loader. Shall we take a look? We'll want to con comment that out, which we did. And we refresh here. And there's our loader. And we hit upload. And we get to choose a picture. Uh, super duper. But when we choose the picker, uh, once we choose it, it will give out an event. So that would be loader uh, dot on quote loaded. And we'll call this arrow function right here. And we collect the event object E. And that gives us uh, var pick is equal to E dot uh, bitmap. Map. So the event object gives us the bitmap, and we'll do the same thing that we did to this bitmap. Well, we'll center it on this thing, the holder here. So we're centering it on this uh, container called holder, and then we're uh, setting it so that it won't drag up on top, because also in that holder is our panel. So our panel is located on the holder, and the panel holds these labels. So we're going to want to crop the whole holder so that it has both the new labels and the old picture. So let's make our cropper. Uh, const cropper is equal to, it will be a simple rectangle with some additions. We will make that uh, rectangle, for instance, be 500 by 500. It will not have a color, so null. We'll give it a border color of red and a border thickness of 5, a corner of 0, and we'll make it dashed true. Uh, not only that, we're going to be scaling this with a transform. So we were going to say ignore, this is border, some border information, ignore scale, and we'll set that to um, true. We're going to ignore the scaling so the border always stays. Uh, why don't we center that onto the holder, dot center that on the holder, and here comes the transform, dot transform, like that. And some of the things we might say about transform, 
allow toggle colon false. What that does is we can't turn it off now. Rotate, rotate, colon false. We won't let people rotate. And it has, shows the registration point, but we don't need that. So that should be confusing. So we'll do that as well. And now we'll make a new button, a new button that says, how about a label of uh, save? Yeah. We will uh, dot ska that, make it a bit smaller because we're going to put it in that panel, 0.7 or so. We will uh, locate it in the panel, center it on the panel, center on the panel, and uh, dot pose it at the bottom as well. So when we pose it at the bottom, no movement in the X, null. We'll go 50 from the bottom, uh, nothing saying from the right, and true. This true right here means from the bottom. So great, uh, but when we tap on that, tap, we want to be able to save it. So we'll run an arrow function here, arrow function, and uh, we say loader.save. So the loader in saving it, we can also crop it. So we'll save the holder. So this will take a picture of the holder. We will call it tweet or something like that. That's the name of the file. And we'll set it the cropper.x Cropper, here's the X and Y that we want to crop this thing. Cropper dot Y, that's the position of the croppers, X and Y, as well as the cropper dot width and the cropper dot height. So that's how much we're going to crop this thing. And ladies and gentlemen, shall we see if it works? Dum, dum, dum. So we save that up. We refresh here. Refresh. We upload a picture. Grab that same Twitter picture. Uh, there she be. Now, even if the user moves it, uh-oh, there's a little bit of a befuddle here because we can't see the, when we uploaded the picture, it went over top of our, our interface. So where was that? There's our loader. We better put that dot bot onto the bottom. And let's try her out now. We refresh here. So we make sure that the picture Yes, uploads to the bottom of that, and now we can move that about. And I suppose we better pause this timer just in case here. We'll pause the timer. We'll move this down into position where we say, hey, uh, zero. Well, let's put that cropper out of the way for now. How's that looking? So we move that down to the bottom. We'll increase our hearts. Let's make this for real. How much do we want? More? More, 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 why not? So what I'm doing is I'm dragging that arrow from the farther away I go, the, the faster it goes. And uh, I see that we've overwritten our heart. So there we go, 120. And now how many um, how many uh, shares do we have? How about uh, 380 shares? Okay, great. Uh, does that look real? It looks about real. And then finally, we'll, we'll drag this one. This is the number of... Um, of messages on it, and that better be a big number too, like uh, 459. Uh, there, does that look real? I think that looks pretty darn real. So we'll bring this cropper in, and that allows us to uh, drag on the sides, uh, like so. That looks pretty good. It's not totally ideal because when you drag the corner, we're used to um, keeping the aspect ratio. So uh, we may look into providing an option to not do that, but for now you have to go to the side and drag that. Does that look good? And now we hit save. Let's see if it works. Uh, the upload pick is still there. Save. We're going to get this thing that says upload pick on it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we didn't because the upload pick, good, wasn't in the thing that we were saving. Take a look at that, huh? Isn't that cool? So now we have our own tweet that looks like we're ultra famous. We have used the tweet doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that neat? So that could be uh, downloaded to the user's computer or a mobile device. This all works on mobile. We do want to get rid of that upload pick. So we will, uh, let's see, where is that? That's in the loader once it's loaded. Okay, are you ready? We're going to resume. We go here, we say loader dot remove from like that and if we can spell it like that and we need a stage dot update in there <laughs> stage dot update round brackets pause that timer ah! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when the picture loads, we'll get rid of the loader, and then we can upload our uh, stage.update there. Let's just take a quick peek and see if that works. So we're going back to the beginning. There's the upload pick. We upload the picture. Pandong. 
in it comes and sure enough that works just fine. We no longer have the loader there. Uh, we can drag that around and we're back to good to go. Isn't that amazing? I find that that's pretty amazing that we can make a cropper like that. It lets people upload their own picture and crop it in five minutes in Zim. And that's on top of the earlier app that lets you do something like modify the picture. And we made that in five minutes too. I'm Dr. Abstract. If you're digging this, if you like this, uh, come on into zimjs.com slash slack, S-L-A-C-K, where we have a forum. We talk about things. You can show some, some things that you're making or uh, find out more, ask questions about things. We would love to have you there. Uh, and please tell, tell your friends, like this is fun stuff, even if they've never coded, even if uh, you know they don't even know they want to code. Um, just say, hey, Zim is this amazing puzzle. You can make really cool things. Uh, quickly and have a look back through the other five minutes as well. There's lots of five code in five minutes with Zim and see the, the variety and the exciting things that you can make with Zim. Ciao. Have a great night or day. <laughs>